again and welcome back to our cybersecurity news. Lately you must have heard or even participated in a trend through social networks like Facebook, Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag 10 years challenge. Well, what would you think if I tell you that behind this innocent meme could be hiding a darker purpose by the likes of Facebook? Let's think about it. Imagine that you wanted to train a facial recognition algorithm on age-related characteristics and more specifically on age progression. That means an algorithm that would try to figure out programmatically how people are likely to look like when they get older. That's scary, right? Ideally, you would want a broad and rigorous data set with lots of people's pictures. It would help if you knew they were taken a fixed number of years apart, say 10 years. Ah, interesting, quite a coincidence, right, with that 10-year meme? Well, through the Facebook meme, most people have been helpfully adding that context back in. You know, by posting me in 2008 and me in 2018 pictures, as well as giving further information in many cases about where and how the picture was taken. So for its part, Facebook denies categorically having anything to do with the 10-year challenge. Quote, this is user-generated meme that went viral on its own, a Facebook spokesperson responded. As a reminder, Facebook users can choose to turn facial recognition on or off at any time. I would strongly re recommend that you do that. I quite agree with Kate O'Neill, who wrote about this in Wired magazine, and uh, she's one of our main sources for this topic. I quote her. We need to approach our interactions with technology mindful of the data we generate and how it can be used at scale. Humans are the richest data source for most of the technology emerging in the world. Imagine that. We are the richest data source for the technology. She says, we should know this and proceed with due diligence and sophistication. Our data is the fuel that makes businesses smarter and more profitable. That's scary, right? And her conclusion is brilliant. We should not only demand that businesses treat our data with due respect, but we also need to treat our own data with respect. I can only agree with her and I encourage you to respect yourself by respecting the privacy of your personal data and thinking twice before posting it anywhere. So, going back to this story, even if this particular Facebook meme isn't a case of social engineering, the past few years have been rife with examples of social games and memes designed to extract and collect data. It happened, for example, with Facebook and Cambridge Analytics, remember that? And talking about games, hmm, this brings me to a very popular game, Fortnite. I'm sure you've heard of it. It topped 200 million registered players at the end of 2018. Quite impressive. But huge platforms also inevitably have huge targets on their backs. Fortnite has already dealt with its share of digital security issues particularly scams like imposter Android apps. Now, new research firm from the IT security checkpoint reveals a trio of vulnerabilities in Fortnite's web infrastructure that could have allowed an attacker to take over user accounts. How does that work? It's combining an error in a legitimate URL of Epic Games, which are the creator of the game, plus a problem with a page redirect during the single sign-on process and third, a query error in the database that can be combined all together to steal a user's access token, which is an authentication code that SSO generates. So you're going to ask me, but what are SSOs, right? Well, it allows you to log in with Facebook, Google, PlayStation Network, Xbox, a Live, or an Nintendo account. It's great, right? It's so convenient. But it also helps have vulnerabilities, such as the one that was discovered by Forcepoint. Uh, and it was partly due to the SSOs. Of course, it's quite a sophisticated attack. To exploit these flows, an attacker would first craft and distribute a malicious link, perhaps in a social media message or forum post claiming to be about Fortnite promotion. The link could be shortened, but it would always be legitimate, and therefore less suspicious, piggybacking on the vulnerable web page or resources found. From there, the attack moves swiftly. Fortnite users who click the link on a device where they were logged in would instantly expose their authentication token for the attacker to steal. Epic has patched the flaws, but it's always possible that someone aside from Checkpoint previously discovered the attack. This means that even in a simple game, something so innocent, right, we're not entirely sure that our data will not be stolen. So remember, be safe online and offline, and please subscribe so you can keep informed about all the news about cybersecurity. 
See you soon.